Ivor, have you seen Wallace? That wretched... Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Raw disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir, and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan! As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. This is an easy one. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. You, Emma. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. It's Rowan. Rowan's right. Holger. Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. 
pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Alright, three alliances done. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at this burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Okay. Let's continue the... Volta... arc. Green farm, no, no, no. There was so much we were meant. What's this? Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... Empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. 
Be strong, Tommy. I know you are valued. Rip. Okay, here it is. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. something to Have bombs required? the jackpot. Have the plants you need good good once added to the elixir it will be ready to drink in taking this you will have access to the all father's wisdom you will walk the path of odin and live as he lived so long ago prepare yourself for a journey into another time another plane
The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. You spit in it, though. <laughs> Prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf and falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate, your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric. But threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen, but loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? These are the Shades of Atlantis. From the DLC. Now it's in the main game. This is kind of Ubisoft's playground to do it, but whatever the hell you want.
Oh my god, that's my mouth. <laughs> It's a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain. Oh my god, we're talking to Thor. We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight. We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy, before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. Give me Thor. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotna heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ein Herjar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! Those beard physics are so weird. Jotunheim scum! Welcome to your doom! With me, I give this battle to myself. I tell you, bring the heavy your blades. We will drown our enemies in blood. To battle. This is one long run. Oh, the home. What's the map? Oh my gosh. Down! 
Jesus. Oh, I was close. Oh, I'm about to die from this guy. Found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. <coughs> <laughs> he looks like the assassin. <laughs> guy's name. Not a Hytham, the other one. What is your name, stranger? Bassin? Yeah. I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder, it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Navi, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, I one. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. 
If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic. A source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. So we can wake up any time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, a good fight! But I wish there were more! <laughs> the sky itself shatters before your might thaw. What's with the yellow dot? Are they are they just portals? Is that what they mean? So this is the dream world. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Is there a haystack? No, it's just water.
Alright, this is a transfer over to the real world. Should I complete this arc in one shot or should I wake up? That's the question. If you die in the, in the dream world, you die for real. Like, yeah, it's so staggering, this, like, the way they lay out this map, it's like, you can't... I don't have a boat. There's so many islands. There's way more verticality. It's just so slow to get around in this world. Unless I'm missing a boat that I just didn't see. My thoughts are clouded with shadows of doom. Only two Even viewpoints. This peaceful valley seems to hold hidden dangers. Ground again. Yeah, of course, it's underground. There's so much verticality. It's just it's, it gets really confusing at times.
sunstone has been moved. The light's path is shifted. said you'd be here. You told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? The Nornir told me I would die at Ragnarok. They described the scene of my passing. All but a few will perish in the final battle. We know this. Yet we will die well. And live again in great and glorious tales. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me. To challenge me. To pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will. As long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. So why are you allowing these white balls to be manu manip manipulated? That's my question. What if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. Two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream. They're stuck. Oh gosh, They're so clunky.
Oh, I didn't see that. You've done this before, Harry. Once or twice. The light has found its mark. The stone is lit. I didn't see that. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. Well, that changes everything. and I oh, I can't finagle it is open to us. I will lead. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I didn't, have, if I didn't see that glowing stone in the way over there, like, that would have been unsolvable. <laughs> Take what you need and do it quickly. We should not linger. Suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. The Nornir warned me. A wolf will be my doom in Ragnarok. Will you slay every wolf in the Nine Realms to sidestep this fate? <laughs> Ridiculous. 
take this beast. I want him caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down. That was easy. Loki. Entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for. I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful, calm, quiet. What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives. But Tyr will cage the beast at his hall. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic. And it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way. Okay. We'll see if, if his demonstration works. Next time, because I'm... I'm tired. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you follow if you haven't. We'll be releasing more episodes. Uh, it's taking me a while to get them edited and, and, and uh, rendered, so... We'll continue to do that. Well, let me save. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Like I said, at the end of this playthrough, I'll be going through speedrun stuff and be way more of a Valhalla content, so look forward to that, and um, thank you for watching.